Hi guys, welcome to AWS DBA. In this session, we are going to see how we can modify parameters in a DB parameter group. You can modify parameter values in a customer created DB parameter groups. You can't change the parameter values in a default parameter group. If you assign a single parameter group to multiple DP instances, then if you change the parameters, then it will apply to all DP instances that are associated with the DP parameter group. Dynamic parameter changes does not require reboot and it will apply to the DP instance immediately. When you change a static parameter, you need to manually reboot the DB instance. RDS console shows the status of the DB parameter group associated with the DB instance on the configuration tab. For example, if the DB instance is using the latest changes to the associated DB parameter group, the RDS console shows the DB parameter group with the status of pending reboot. To apply the latest parameter changes to that DB instance, manually reboot the DB instance. To modify a parameters in the DB parameter group, in the navigation panel, choose parameter groups. In the parameter group page, in the list, choose the parameter group that you want to modify. In the DB parameter group page, you need to choose modify. In the modify parameter group page, you need to search the parameter which you want to modify the value. Here, I am going to change the logical underscore replication parameter values from 0 to 1. If you choose 1, then logical replication enable your DB instance. Scroll down this page and choose continue. In the review changes, Summary of modification, you can see current value and new value and also you can see apply type, logical underscore replication parameter is a static parameter. Also, you can see the assigned resources listed here. If you assign this uh, parameter to multiple DP instances, then it will display those DP instances listed here. Choose apply changes. We are seeing the database status in modifying state. It will take some time to apply the modify. Now, database status is available state. You need to choose this uh, database. Then, in the configuration tab, scroll down this page. Now, we are seeing parameter group pending reboot state. So, you need to reboot your uh, database manually. In the action menu, choose reboot. In the reboot DP instance page, you need to choose confirm. Now, database is rebooting. It will take some time to available state. Now, database status available state. Now, parameter group status is changed to in sync. For resetting parameters in a parameter group to the default values, you can refer next video in my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe and refer to your friends.